So here I have to enter an ID. So if I click one, I have to enter my name. I do enter my name. Then it is asking me for the contact number. I say any random number here. And I click on insert. So when I click on insert, it gives me the row ID. That is what is the amount that got inserted. So if I click on load, it shows me the number of columns. That is, I have a table which has got three fields here. So it gives me the number of columns to be three, the number of rows to be one, and the names of the columns. Here I have the names of the columns, which is ID, names, numbers, and I'm just displaying it up onto the text view. Right? So let's talk about the insertion here. First of all, let's how uh, talk about how we'll be inserting it up. So here I have created three variables. I have taken the edit boxes values into these three variables, which is ID, the name, and the number. Then I create two string variables. That is two string arrays here, wherein I'll be mapping ID with ID, names with names, numbers with numbers. And I create a new content values because as I told you, whenever I'll be inserting some operations onto the database, I'll be actually using the content values for it. And what I do here is I say for i equal to zero columns dot length that is this length. What I'm doing is I'm doing a content values dot put whatever value was there on the columns. I'm actually while putting it up. It is very much like putting up key value pairs. So the columns are containing ID names numbers and the values are containing ID name number. So this is this fills me my content values up with all the data that I want to insert. I create an object of the class DB logic. So here in the DB logic, my context gets goes into the context SQL here. This object takes the context here. So I'm passing the context of the calling activity, which is this particular class, that is main activity dot class. I open the database connection using the open method here. Create generate a long row ID. It is the actually uh, whenever I'll be inserting something onto the database, it will generate a unique identifier for me, which is going to the row ID of the object that I'm inserting here. So here I'm re re returning. What I'm doing here is I'm returning an identifier after inserting the values onto the database. <coughs> so if I talk about the insert here, you can see it is asking me for the table name. The null column hack because I do, if I want to have the null column hack, I can do that and the content values. So since I'm not using uh, working on the any null column hacks here, so I'll keep it null here and I'll just insert it up onto the database. All right, and then I just close the database connection here, and I just trace the toast whichever ID got inserted. All right. So if I click on run as, go to run as, add another object onto the database and I say id equal to 2, name I say test, number I can key in any random number here and I click on insert and it gives me the row id is 2, if I click on load here it will be loading 2 objects for me. 